surprise it's me doing a recorded video for a change it's been a while so welcome or welcome back and this is well let's say april is finally over quite a long time ago because it's kind of late in may um and i haven't done anything so sorry about that um april was a big deal for me because i was the captain of a team in the tbr blitz readathon on the keymark discord i was the captain of the stack smashers they were amazing we came second which was so exciting and basically i had a marvelous time i wanted very much to thank the people i was in the stack smashers with because they were amazing and i actually spent an afternoon quite a while ago now um, making certificates for some of the odder statistical data that i ended up with the first award i'm going to give is going to pole position and pole position goes to Daniel. Daniel was the first person to both submit a book and finish two books, three books, four books and five books. Basically led the pack for the vast majority of the month. So Daniel, for being absolutely at the forefront of this team, driving us forward. Thank you so much. My next award goes to our very own AR Witham, Andy himself the uh, co-owner operator of the Keymark Discord for being the smarty pants of the team and reading the smallest book he could to qualify. With a bare 202 pages, Andy gets our smarty pants award. Our next award, however, goes to our golden oldie. And this is absolutely no reflection on the age of the reader because the reader is the very fabulous Bex Destruction. Bex had a lot on her plate this month and yet was able to not only fill the prompt of second book in a series, did so with the oldest book by publication date on anybody's TBR. Published way back in 1871 was book two of Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland's book with Through the Looking Glass. Bex, that was awesome. You did an amazing readathon. You're doing fantastic. Keep up the amazing work. My third award was fun because it was just the most hilarious review I read all month. And I had to read a lot of reviews. <laughs> and it goes to Kyle of Read by Kyle. And he wins the Limbo Award because how low could he go? He went one star low. He went one stars on Stephen King's The Tommy Knockers. Not only was he the only person to give a one star review, it was well worth my time reading. So thanks for that, Kyle. I certainly needed the giggle. My fourth award is for The Last Gasp. The very last book that made it in under the deadline goes to Punk Rock Cereal Bowl, also known as Robert. And he came in with just under two hours to go with his final submission to the readathon. I only have two left to go. So for my determination award for this readathon, it's going to go to Laura Reads. And Laura gets the determination award for pushing through on the longest book in the readathon. That was a massive 1024 pages long. It was Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell. And drum roll, please. The final award goes to the very lovely Bengus Khan. Ben, over the period of the readathon, you managed to, at the last minute, just sneak up that reader leaderboard and you read the most pages of anyone in the Stack Smashers team. And you read almost 3,000 pages just for the readathon, with 2,986 pages read. Ben was our most productive reader in the Stack Smashers. Ben, you're a legend. You're a darling man. And if anyone hasn't seen your channel, they should probably check it out. Ben is not the only one among our winners who has a channel of his own. I highly recommend you check them out. I will link them in the description below. And I think finally, 
that's my April done with. Like, subscribe, comment, do all the things that tickle the algorithm. And I'm going to love you and leave you. See you next time.